This client came in because the last barber messed him up, so he wanted to show me a picture of a haircut I posted on my Instagram. He asked for the Edgar. Ironically, his name is Edgar. I will begin by combing the hair forward so it can lay in its natural position. Here's an illustration of where I'll be debulking the hair on the sides with my clipper. Start with the number 7 guard. Make sure you go against the grain. This process is called the debulking process. Next, number 6 guard. Make sure you comb the hair back in place. Follow the same steps as the previous guard. Next, number 5 guard. See how I'm not cutting above the parietal ridge of the head. Cutting is not all about fading. Educate yourself in anatomy of the head and face as well. The next number is a little blurry, but it's the number 4 guard. Continue the same steps and process as the previous guard. This is called the debulking phase, a lot of repetitive movements. Next step is the number 3 guard. A lot of barbers like to cut corners and use the number 2 and just go straight up. But now right here at Ambitious Edge Barbershop, we do everything with detail. It don't matter if it's gonna take us longer, but we gonna give you the best fade in Orange County, baby. Number two is the last guard in the debulking process. Make sure you don't miss any hairs behind the ears. Use index finger to pull ear down and away from the clipper so you don't chop his ear off. It's difficult to stop the bleeding on the ears, but if you run into that problem, follow your state board procedures and regulations to prevent cross-contamination. Now I will begin my initial skin guideline with my babyliss trimmer. Remove loose hairs with comb. He wanted a medium high skin fade. Next, start removing all hairs below the initial skin guideline. Go against the grain, with the grain, and again against the grain. Make sure you don't miss one hair. Now, go over that area with the balder. Remember, make sure to be careful going around the ears because you will cut it. It's not a good look when you cut a climb, man. I begin to fade with my clipper, lever open, quarter to half an inch in diameter all around the half guideline. Make sure you don't miss any hairs, so go over it multiple times. Next, slap that number one guard and continue the same process as the previous guard. Next, start fading that initial skin guideline. With the clipper closed, gradually open lever as I show you on this clip. Best fades here in Orange County, only at Ambitious Edge Barbershop where we have the credibility, we have trophies, we go state to state, we compete, we tapped in this barber game, Ambitious Edge, we coming, 2023. Next is the half guard to fade the line in between the half and the one and a half open and close the lever for the best detailed fade. Best fades here in Orange County, only at Ambitious Edge Barbershop where we have the credibility, we have trophies, we go state to state, we compete, we tapped in this barber game, Ambitious Edge, we coming, 2023. Next, begin clipper over comb technique. 
get rid of any overhanging hairs, set yourself apart from all the other average barbers in your town, be the best one, be the killer. Spray my client with hairspray for that crispy lineup. Blow dry that area to keep the hairs in place. Begin lining up forehead with trimmers. Remember, don't press too hard or it will irritate the skin. Be gentle and also check your work in the mirror because the mirror doesn't lie. Then. Go over the hairline with a straight razor. Remember, pull the skin the opposite direction you're stroking that razor. Make sure the skin is always tight so you don't cut your client. Go over the top with your clipper, lever closed, and trim all stubbles. We take pride in our work. Every detail matters. Here at Ambitious Edge Barbershop, we provide the best fades in Orange County. Thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button.